Six Feminine Traits Men Find Irresistible. In this video, you will discover the qualities that men are seeking and that make them to truly commit to you. Hi, I'm Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, desires, and hello pursues you forever. Now, of course, if you'd like anything that I wear, that I share, my background, do me a favor, give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe for more juicy videos coming your way. And lastly, sharing is caring, so don't forget to do that as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into the six feminine traits men find irresistible. Number six is the magic of the moment focus. So what do I mean by that? Of course, we have heard about living in the moment, appreciating the fullness of the moment, right? Actually enlarging the moment. But also what I mean by that is that the woman is not constantly checking in, being in her masculine, thinking ahead, right? What's the next step? Where are we at? So she's not constantly asking for the status of the relationship, right? But rather she enjoys where she is right now. There was this really great story that was shared in Cosmopolitan. And it was about a couple that got married against all odds. The reason what the groom shared later was that, that the bride was actually not taking any date for granted, but rather said, you know, this is great. This is like one date. I don't know if there's going to be another date. So there was never an assumption and that there was also never a comparison to the date before, but rather the groom or back then boyfriend was able to reinvent himself over and over again and could show up with all of his masculine archetypes or energies. Now I'd love to hear from you. Which country are you watching from or state of course? Number five is emotional range. So it's kind of like when you play piano, when you play keyboard, but right? it has all the different keys like high pitched and low pitched and in between and all the things. And emotional range is something that a masculine man is very much attracted to because he is more about like emptying out, right? He's more about being single focused. He's more about this like congruency inside of himself that's like really stable. And what really matches extremely well with that is a woman who's connected with all of her emotions, right? Who's connected to her sadness, to her anger, to her confusion, to her happiness, to all of the emotions, all the colors of the rainbow. And that, of course, what helps him to actually receive sort of that resume, that emotional map, so he can match, map, sorry, his own emotions inside of himself. So for example, when you express uh, your sadness, like say even on a first date, you know, you're like sad about something and you allow yourself to drop into it. In that moment, the man allows himself also to feel his sadness as well. And research actually shows that men don't really care about like exactly if a woman comes off as you know, if she thinks she's not good enough or is there sadness or anger, all the things, right? But what he's paying attention to is if you're trying to cover it up. So he loves when you have this emotional range. You know, my husband actually calls it having sort of like having sort of like this, the waves and the water, right? And the man is sort of the jacuzzi, sort of the swimming pool and holds the water in place. Number four is sensuality, sensuality. Now, when you deal with a more masculine man, which, you know, according to my own research, after having spoken to almost 3000 women live on calls, right, what I find is the qualities that they're expressing, that they desire to have in a man, go more into the masculine category. So if you want to attract a masculine man into your life, you actually want to, uh, pursuit, uh, pursuit, what's the word that I'm looking for? You sometimes like my German, this is getting in a way, right? Like exude, that's what I'm looking for, exude sensuality. And why is that? So when you are in your senses, it actually puts a man in a hypnotic space, right? 
like if we actually come from a sensual space, right, when we smell something very slowly, when we look at something a certain way, when we hear something a certain way, right, when we actually use all our senses without even talking, life becomes a little bit more mysterious. Because the truth is that so often what we process with our senses can't be put into words. So we're actually limiting our experience and honestly also the experience that the man then has in your presence when we use words. The same is true when you enhance your sensuality. Right now you're actually enhancing the experience and the cool thing is you don't know exactly what it is, right? Because you don't really talk about it. It's not linear, it's not logical. So it's also what the man makes it mean, which again, it gives it this sort of mystical touch to it because you don't know what he makes it mean. And he knows that you don't know what he makes it mean. And it becomes quite some fun, some fun banter, right? And again, he leaves with a state change, right? Like he actually feels different sensually inside of himself after the date. Now, if you're liking this content so far, do me a favor, again, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Number three, and this is really important, is trust. Now, I could also say that this woman actually feels safe. Because if a woman doesn't feel safe, then she will project her insecurities onto him. Right? She will question and doubt the relationship. She'll need approval all the time because she doesn't trust the man and she also doesn't really trust herself. Now, another thing that happens when a woman doesn't trust herself, by the way, the tr same is true for men, right, is that they use coping mechanisms. They use protection mechanisms. And what that does is increases, of course, the walls, the barriers that a lot of people and men don't waste time to have to break through because they can't distinguish if it's an authentic barrier, right? That actually is like authentically occurred or if you don't like him, you know? And so he's like, you know, I'm not willing to take a risk because I don't know. Or he's saying, well, why should I pay the price that someone else like cost, right? Like some other guy, like, how is that fair? You know, how does that make sense? I'm not willing to pay for that debt, which is understandable, right? Because he spent a lot of time to develop his character, develop the qualities that he likes to see inside of himself. And so he doesn't want to be then the one who has to like make up for all the mistakes that your ex has made, right? Or that your ex partner has made or that your, you know, even your dad has made. Does that make sense? So it's like about trusting yourself because that makes you feel safe and also trusting him, right? Because when you trust him, then he feels appreciated and he will want to do even more for you and with you. Number two, rather unconventional, is you embrace your shadow. Now, what is a shadow? A shadow is a quality inside of yourself that you are judging. So for example, you could have the shadow of selfishness. And selfishness can be actually a really wonderful thing. As a matter of fact, I'll be talking it in the last point. But if you judge it inside of yourself, it becomes a shadow. You actually make it a bad thing. And then what you do is you will do whatever it takes to not be called selfish. You will give up all the power. You will give up all of your truth, your, hon your, your honesty, your voice, all the things to not be called selfish. Now, what he finds very attractive is when you unapologetically yourself, right? If you're unapologetically embracing your shadows. For example, in 2010, in the summer to be exact, like I had the shadow, well, I had the shadow for a while, but it was just in that summer. I had the shadow of being too much. And sure enough, when you have a shadow, what you resist persists you will attract that in a man. So I attracted this man to my life who told me, well, you kiss too much, you're too affectionate, you're too much. And what I could have done is I could have become, you know, I could have like become defensive, I would have, uh, I could have attacked him, I could have denied it, I could have gone for all the different shame shields. 
But instead, I was embracing my shadow and I said, yes, that is me. I love a lot of attention. I love a lot of affection, right? Like that is my need. Now notice, I didn't say afterwards, like take it or leave it or all the passive aggressive statements, but rather I'm like, that's it. This is me, you know? And then he, because he was actually coming from a place of misalignment, because the reality was he came from a place of fear of intimacy, right? Like he actually then started to say, oh no, I'm just kidding. So he started to deny his reality, his statement. Now, needless to say, he also went on to pursue me, to call me, to leave me voice messages and all the things. Of course, at the end of the day, it wasn't a match, but it really helped a quality man to be attracted to me. And lastly, number one is focus on yourself. Look, one thing I would always say is the quality of men that you attract into your life is directly proportional to the relationship you have with yourself. So if you are not investing in yourself, if you're not focusing on yourself, how can you feel comfortable or safe or can have an unconscious expectation that someone will focus on you? That he will ask you questions when you're on a date, right? That he's going to follow up with you how, how your work day went or how your interview went, right? Or how the conversation with your mom went, right? So you're handing him a resume again when you focus on yourself. And also he feels like, okay, I'm not responsible for her. She can hold her own in the relationship and I can have a healthy, interdependent relationship with this woman. I hope this makes sense. And if you want to discover how to make a man desire you and want you, hop on over to mymquiz.com. The link is also in the description below. And you haven't done so already, watch next. When a man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Lots of love to you ladies. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.